Hello everyone, welcome back to the Byte Vigor channel. Today we're going to explore the visitor design pattern, a widely used behavioral design pattern in software development. The core idea behind this pattern is to add new functionality to objects without modifying their existing structure. This is particularly useful in scenarios where the object structure is stable, but you frequently need to extend its behavior with new operations. Imagine you are an art critic invited to visit a large museum. Each gallery displays different types of artwork, such as paintings, sculptures, and ceramics. You simply follow a museum guide who explains the background and value of each piece without the need for you to gather this information repeatedly for each exhibit. The visitor pattern is like this museum guide, allowing you to add new explanations or features to each exhibit without altering the exhibits themselves. According to Wikipedia in Object-Oriented Programming, the visitor design pattern separates algorithms from the objects they operate on, allowing you to add new operations without modifying the object's structure. This aligns with the open-closed principle from the solid design principles. To better understand this pattern, let's take a look at a zoo simulation example implemented in Java. In this example, we have several different animals, including monkeys, lions, and dolphins. First, we define an animal interface with an accept method, which will be used to accept visitors. Next, we define a visitor interface, animal visitor, which specifies visit methods for each type of animal. This interface allows us to easily add new operations for different animals. After that, we implement specific classes for each animal and include the accept method in each one. Each accept method directs the operation to the appropriate visitor method. Then, we create a concrete visitor class that performs specific operations. For example, the speak class implements the animal visitor interface and defines the unique sound behavior for each animal, such as the monkey's shout, the lion's roar, and the dolphin's speak. Now let's look at the client code. In this example, we create a monkey, a lion, and a dolphin and have them accept the speak visitor, allowing them to make their respective sounds. Next, let's see how we can add new operations without modifying the existing object structure. For instance, if we want to add a jumping behavior to these animals, we simply create a new visitor class, jump, and define the specific jump behavior for each animal. Then, we can use it in the client code. As you can see, with the visitor pattern, we can add new operations like jump to the animals without altering their structure showcasing the pattern's flexibility and extensibility. So when should you consider using the visitor design pattern? This pattern is ideal when you need to add new functionality to objects without modifying their structure. It's particularly useful in scenarios where the object structure is stable, but new operations are frequently needed. By using the visitor pattern, you can separate operations from the object structure, ensuring stability while allowing for flexible additions. To summarize, the visitor design pattern introduces a visitor object that enables you to add new functionality to objects without modifying their structure. In real-world development, the visitor pattern helps maintain the open-closed principle, enhancing the system's extensibility and maintainability. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the ByteVigor channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss our upcoming content. See you in the next video.